Welcome to a new Safe Address podcast. In this podcast, I want to show you the brand new version 4.1 of Selfish OS. Quarken. So this is the brand new version. You can see nothing much has changed from the outside, but internally they changed a few things. So first of all, let's go and take a look at the Alien Dalvik Android app support because it has been updated to version 10. So if I go into the Android settings, you will see in about phone that we have now Android version 10 here, Google system update 10 and Android version 10 here as well. So you now, uh, now you've been able to run applications that are meant for Android 10. Then we have some other changes that you cannot see. It is a preparation in the camera application for multiple camera support. As you might know, the Xperia 10 Mark II is also now supported with the uh, new uh, Selfish OS 4.1 and uh, it will in the future also have support for multiple cameras. So you have the option to switch in between the different cameras. And maybe this will also work for the Xperia 10 device that has also two cameras on the back. But we have to see. Then we have a new switch button that allows us in the browser to switch between the desktop version and the mobile version of a website. So let's go, for example, to the forum.selfishrest.org website. And what we will see here is that the browser is loading a bit slowly, but this has nothing to do with the browser itself. But my internet connection here, you can see it is loading the mobile website. And if I go now here into settings, I have the desktop website that I can tick here and it will start reloading the website and will load straight into the desktop version. This can become sometimes handy if the mobile version is broken or you want to have the features of the desktop version, just like, for example, on the Studio YouTube website. And uh, yeah, this is easily possible via this toggle. Another feature, cool new feature in the browser is if you go on websites that offer a new uh, nice search engine, a new search engine, just like, for example, quant.com, what you can do is go into settings and go onto your search on, and then you have the option to tap to install quant and if i do this it will then use quant by default as my search engine and you can see i have also here selfish forum search because i was on the selfish forum before i can also tap to install this as well so it supports all those um, open search engine options that are available to search here directly on your favorite search engine then we have some fixed call recording application that has been updated. So if you want to recall your phone calls, this is now possible again. This should be not an issue. Then again, XMPP support has been fixed. So if you still have an XMPP account, just like I have somewhere, uh, you are now able to use them again. As you can see here, uh, it is logging me in without any issues on Google Mail, and at least the other one is probably not working anymore because the server is not <laughs> available anymore. And then we have a new update also for the Google API, the new People API for Google Contact syncing will be used if you have uh, like contacts here that you want to sync from Google with your self address phone, it is possible again. And then there is a new default sound recording application that I want to show. You have to install it manually just by going to the Yola store. If you are upgrading an existing SafeJS installation, if you already plan to install new, it might be offered there as well by default. Uh, we go to the Yola section here and we will find the audio recorder application here and we can open it from here, install it from here as well. The audio application, the recording application looks like this, pretty simple. I can say this is a little test. As you can see here, the sound waves are clearly visible. I can pause it, I can continue recording it, or I can stop it and it will ask for a name. By default, it's filling out the um, current date and time, and I can play it back. 
and you might hear my voice in the background so you have the option also to show some details like in this case it is recording in WAV format and you have also the option to rename it to share it where you have the option to uh, access all the sharing options that are available in SafeSharePress and of course if you don't like it you can also delete it so this is a new audio recording application pretty simple pretty basic but good that it's there then we have some uh, other uh, changes in the calculator for example the calculator has now uh, the option to have um, uh, you know that we have the option to just go like this and to show some scientific calculations as well if you want to have them visible you can just swipe up here to get to those scientific uh, calculations as well operations as well here even in portrait mode so this is also a new addition to the calculator application then we have some fixed terminal so in the past with savages 4 zero we had the issue that the terminal did not save my commands but this is now possible as you can see here i removed the harbor osm scout server uh, via ssh in this case and it is still saved in here so it has the history saved now and i can then just recall the applications or the commands that i called earlier so this is also pretty nicely done and good that it is fixed then there is now, if I create a screenshot, there is um, in the preview, there is there is a little thumbnail, as you can see here in the preview, that uh, indicates uh, how the sc screenshot looks like. And I can also see this in the expanded view. If I have this here, there you can th see the th thumbnail of the screenshot that I captured, which is also pretty nice and then we have some gns location data that can be installed for faster location services so we can go into our system settings we can go into our location services we can turn them on and we have the high accuracy positioning battery saving mode or custom settings here where we can set up even more stuff and here we have also the possibility to download manually stuff uh, from the GNS loca GNSS location uh, data there you have to use the terminal for this uh, which allows you then to download the location for your continent and then you are have uh, quicker location services uh, that can be detected another thing that is new is uh, the support for Fortinet VPN you can also find it here open 40 VPN uh, which is a VPN client uh, or basically another addition, another setting for the 40 VPN uh, option that can be installed from the Yola store. So this is also a nice addition to uh, SafeShares 4.1.0. This is basically everything, this little overview of the changes. There are lots and lots of other stuff under the hood that has been changed and lots and lots of little bug fixes here and there that have been uh, managed uh, to integrate in SafeJS 4.1. That is everything for this little short overview. If you have some questions or have some features that are so great that I missed them here in this video, just write them down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.